All right, welcome back for the last part of the last lesson. Um, we left off on number four. So it says to rewrite this problem, 6x plus 3 equals negative x squared, where all the terms will be on one side. So we'll move the negative x squared. What is the opposite of a negative x squared? Positive x squared. And that would be 0 equals x to the second power plus 6x plus 3. So let's identify our a, b, and c value. And as you can see here, um, a is going to be 1, b is going to be 6, and c is going to be 3. a, b, and c. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and write in our quadratic formula. So that would be negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So let's go ahead and put our numbers in their place. Positive 6, positive 6, 1, and 3, and 1. So the opposite of a positive 6 would be a negative 6, plus or minus. 2 times 1 is 2. And let's go ahead and square root and find out what 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3 would be. Again, pause here if you need to. Calculate it out. What would that be? And that would be about the square root of 24 which if I simplify that out would be about 4.89, right? So that would be about 24 or negative 6 plus or minus 4.89 over 2. So let's go ahead and figure out what negative 6 plus 4.89 would be or negative 6 minus 4.89 would be, all right? So let's work that out and pause if you need to, if you need to figure out what that would be. Pause here. All right, so that would be negative 1.11 and negative 10.89. And if we work that out, that would be about, again, work this out on your calculator, about negative 0.555. And then for here, that would be about negative 5.445. So both of my answers for my quadratic equation. And we're down to the checkpoint. So we're going to use the discriminant to find out if I have two one or no solution. So again, let's identify our A, B, and C. Let's go ahead and use our discriminant. B oh, squared minus 4 A, C. So that would be negative 2, 3, and 4. Go ahead and work this out. That would be a positive 4. And that would be a negative I believe 48, but you can go ahead and double check that if you're not sure on your calculator. If we work this out, that would be about a negative 44, which is a negative result, right? Negative result, which according to this, if I got a negative result for my discriminant, then I would have no real solutions. Moving right along, I'll go ahead and identify our a, b, and c value. Again, b squared minus 4ac is our discriminant, as it shows right here. So I'm going to go ahead and write that in. All right, our b, a, and our c value, that would be about 64 for this one, and that would be about 24 for that one, and I would get a positive. 40. Ooh, a positive number. So that means I'm going to have two real solutions. Well, that's a change for once, right? 
Let's continue right along. Ooh, we're solving using quadratic formula. So what we're going to do first is we're going to move all our terms to one side. And I'm going to kind of do two steps in one this time. What is the opposite of a positive 8x? Awesome. And the opposite of a negative 7. Awesome again. So let's go ahead and list this out. That would be 0 equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 7. Let's identify our a, b, and c value. So our quadratic formula is x equals uh, negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4 a c all over 2 a. Now that was a is 2, negative 8 is b, and 7 is c. So I'm going to write in negative 8 here, negative 8 there, 2, 7, and 2. All right. Opposite of a negative 8 is a positive 8. 2 times 2 would be 4. Let's go ahead and work out what this would be. Huh, this would be. Um, on our calculator, pause here if you need to. But let's go ahead and figure out what that would be. So that would be about 8. And then if I even simplified that further, that should be about 2.82. So 2.82. So again, I'm going to go ahead and simplify 8 plus 2.82 and 2 minus 2, oops, sorry, 8 minus 2.82 all over 4. So again, take some time, work that out, but that should be about 10.82 divided by 4. And again, work this out if you need to. Um, pause if you need to to figure out what that would be but about 5.18 divided by 4. So let's go ahead and continue to work this out. So again, pause if you need to, work it out. What would that be? About 2.705. Or if I divided this one out, about 1.295. All right. And last but not least, here is our last homework assignment from our textbook. 22.3, 1 through 1, 2, and 3, and 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. If you need support in uh, getting that homework done, please uh, come to the center or visit any one of our tutors or staff. All right, that was it. After this is the practice test. Again, uh, use our staff here at the center and take that test and get this credit uh, out of the way. All right, I hope you enjoyed these series of videos. Catch you on the next credit.